citizenship and, and the allocation of citizenship is very arbitrary, just like it's extremely arbitrary how and where you were born. You didn't choose your parents, you didn't choose the place you were born, you know, and so you didn't choose your citizenship either, but it's a very important determining factor. It's a kind of like a birthright lottery. When we started in 2014 and the idea is really that, you know, we work in investment migration and so this really connects to forced migration, the other side of the spectrum, if you like. And UNHCR is leading in this, so it's quite natural that we would partner as being leaders in investment migration with the leading organization. The one is, of course, some direct uh, funding and you know, support where we raise funds for particularly refugee registration, which is the specific focus. But without registration, there is no identity and without identity there is no access to services and protection so actually this is a very important thing what we do we do actually for a long time and what was planned you know took some time to implement and in the end it just seemed um, the right thing to do to establish a separate entity also separate from our firm well, i think it has grown very nicely and gone in a good direction and but i decided to broaden this further and uh, to establish a new platform, Undone Foundation, where we can really rally all stakeholders that have an interest in this to, pro to provide a broader platform for the initiatives we plan. The natural partners for our foundation is the clients that we have, that we are talking to every day, actually today, that we have many people that are interested in what we do with Undone. There are also other stakeholders, friends of the firm, friends of this industry, that see what we do, what actually all the good that we do. I think generally, you know, direct contributions and charitable work is very important and will continue to be so but of course what we see is it's much more important in the end to assist people to assist themselves to help people to help themselves to, to create work opportunities you know scholarships education but still there is a lot of opportunity to create new spaces i think for refugees I very much believe in that, to create environments where people can actually settle themselves new and create a new environment to build a new life and not just have a temporary setup, but build a new life where private investors come in and work hand in hand with governments to create new platforms on a large scale where you create a new entire city, a new, almost a new state that is economically active and creates a lot of economic value also and not least for the hosting community in the hosting countries. This, is, this, I think, is what needs to be done.